Hey, Mark of Horror here. Um, went to a, went on a trip to Tennessee to go to McKay Books, which I can't recommend enough for you. Um, they are a used DVD books and media store that is the size of a super Walmart. Um, they have three locations, one in Chattanooga, one in Nashville, and one in Knoxville. And they have all of their movies separated out by category, which is, is something I just love because then I can go straight to horror. And they have four sections of horror about three, three feet across and six feet up and down. So that's a huge amount of horror, as you might guess. Um, but the box we have today is not from their horror section. They have tape, they have bargain tables in the middle of their movie section. And all the movies on the bargain tables are two dollars or less. They're a dollar ninety-five, or they're either a dollar ninety-five or they're ninety-five cents, except for a few exceptions. Um, picked up first season of Dexter, dollar uh, ninety-five for the entire season. Um, these are all these are all DVDs, no no Blu-rays, but they do have Blu-rays in the section from time to time. Uh, Texas Chainsaw Massacre, the deluxe DVD edition. Uh, the Jessica Biel, more recent one, not Tobe Hoopers. They want too much money for Tobe Hoopers. Rest Stop, Dead Ahead. Uh, Dr. Seuss's How the Grinch Stole Christmas. Boris Karloff voices this, for those of you who aren't old enough to remember. Uh, these are all things filling holes in my collection. These are, these are things that I didn't have, and I got them all. I got them for less than $2 each. Uh, Buried Alive, 95 cents. Nicholas Cage, Season of the Witch, 95 cents. Stephen King's It, $1.95. That's the, the TV series version. Uh, Voodoo Curse, The Gitta, and Mexican Werewolf in Texas. I had never even heard of either of these films. I'm looking forward to watching them. Twilight Eclipse, which my daughter made fun of me for getting. However, I do have to watch the Twilight series at some point. They are horror. Not, none of the horror fans I know respect the Twilight series, and I've never seen them. So I'm looking a little forward to watching Sparkly Vampires. Um, the Fallen. Carnal, 95 cents. Robert De Niro in Hide and Seek, 95 cents. Gods and Monsters, $1.95. This, this is not a horror movie, it's one of the few non-horror movies I got. It tells the story of James Whale in his later years, after he had fin after he had made Frankenstein and Bride of Frankenstein, and the Old Dark House and the Invisible Man. Uh, Plaguers, another one I haven't heard of. Cold Creek Manor. Uh, Transylvania Six Five Thousand. I've never seen this one. It looks terrible as a comedy, but <laughs> but you know, it's one I haven't seen. Who's in that one? Uh, I'm sorry. I should have mentioned that. It's your favorite, Jeff Goldblum. Woohoo! We even have one of our goldfish named Jeff Goldblum. <laughs> and Alien Raiders. And Seven. I'll let you guys debate whether that's actually a horror movie or not. Uh, the Crispin Glover Willard. Um, I have the Blu-rays of the, of the old Ben and Willard, but I didn't have Crispin Glover's version, the more recent version. Eastern Promises. Not a horror film, but this one is directed by this one is directed by David Cronenberg. Um, after he gave up, after he very sadly gave up horror movies, and it had, features the best naked knife fight I've ever seen. Universal Soldier, another one. You may be saying science fiction. I say Unstoppable Killing Machine. Night of the Templar, another one that I hadn't heard of. A four pack, dollar ninety five. Um, of which I've seen Godsend, which was just okay. Bruiser, it, though, is a really good film by George Romero. It's a nice slow burn film. Soul Survivors, another collection of four films. Otis, Donnie Darko. Shawshank Redemption, because I have to have all the Stephen King ones, even though that's not really horror. Iborgs. Here's one, Hush. 25 cents. 
They have a, a handful of titles in the bins that are just 25 cents. How can you beat that price? If I, if I despise this film, I can just destroy it afterwards and not feel bad. It was a quarter. A piece of gum is a quarter. Hidden from Hell, which I was surprised to find that I didn't own. I have seen it. Joyride, a quarter. Bats, Human Harvest. I'm assuming it's a sequel to Bats, because it's the same type of font as Bats was. Dead Birds. That's what happens when you have bats. Twilight. Don't have the whole set yet. Solstice. King Kong. Hmm. It's a quarter. Apparently no one likes Peter Jackson's version and it's oversaturated. So, it's a quarter. Population 436. Vampires Los Mer Muertos. The Demon Within. Poltergeist, the newer version. H.D. Wells, The War of the Worlds. Um, this one is done as a period piece and stars no one that I know of. Undead, a good Itali uh, Italian, good Australian film. Uh, Deep Shock, War of the Monsters with Gamera. Butterfly Effect and Butterfly Effect 2. Midnight Horror Collection. Devil in the Flesh 1 and Devil in the Flesh 2. Ghost in the Darkness. You might think this is a historical piece, but first off, it's a quarter. 25 cents. A piece of gum. It's about two lions killing people in Africa. And it is... It's kind of an adventure, but a lot of it's told kind of like a horror story because these are basically monsters that they have, they're having trouble stopping because they're so smart. 13th Warrior, set in, mid, set in medieval times or in Viking times. And, um, and while it's an adventure thriller, it's also horror, which you find out closer towards the end of it. Um, Sleepy Hollow. The TV series, the complete first season, $1.95. Decoys. The box, I don't know whether this is horror, so if it's not horror, it's going back. And the, uh, the Riddick Trilogy. And um, the Riddick Trilogy, it reminds me of the Terminator series. Because uh, Pitch Black, the first movie, is clearly a horror film. It's a science fiction horror film. After that, all the stories are about Riddick and it's a science fiction adventure. But the first one is a horror movie. Um, the same way I feel about Terminator. I don't generally categorize Terminator as horror because all the ones after it are heavily, heavily science fiction. But the first Terminator movie is just basically about an unstoppable killing machine coming after someone. It's a horror movie. Anyway, I got all of those all of these are 95 cents or $1.95 at McKay's on, those, on the tables that they have. And they just have table after table after table. Now, they're not separated out by category or anything like that, but they have so much overstock at each of the McKay's that they actually have huge bins that they fill and shove under the tables. And nobody ever looks in those because it gets a little crowded. Um, but if you look through all the tables and you don't fill your shopping cart like I do, Maybe you'll find some under the table. At any rate, a lot of places have a lot of places have uh, good shopping like good shopping like this. Um, look for the used bookstores if you don't have one near you because you're in a small town. Look look in your nearest large town. Uh, we go to we go to McKay's several times a year, and. I should wrap it up is what I'm being told. I should I should wrap this up. Battery. So, the battery's oh my gosh, the battery is dying. Click that subscribe button. Mark of Horror signing out. Bye. Mark and Hugsy here at Mark of Horror. Um, we made another trip to McKay's the next day. This is this is after our last video and I, they had completely replenished the $1.95 tables. 
No, I did not get this at the $1.95 table. Um, but what is it? It's a nice, scary alien. Ooh, let me zoom. Wow. But don't focus too much on it, because we don't want Hugsy to get jealous. Okay. Hugsy's is already upset that I have a Predator hat on. <laughs> um, eight movie pack. Um, I mean, obviously, eight movie pack, $1.95, I'm going to get it. But I got this one specifically for Below, because for some reason I didn't have that one. It's a ghost story that takes place on a World War II submarine. And it's, it's very good. I can't vouch for the other films in that set. <laughs> um, four film pack, Dead and Gone, Boy Eats Girl, Return of the Living Dead 3, and Return of the Living Dead Necropolis. Of this, the clear winner is Return of the Living Dead 3, which I already had. Um, Necropolis is pretty fun, but, uh, but 3 is your best bet. I have not seen Dead and Gone, and I think I've seen Boy Eats Girl, but I don't remember it, so it's probably not that great. Double feature. Um, this is still sealed. Nobody even bothered to open it. Um, it's King of the Zombies and Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. It's the 1920 silent Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde with Lionel Barrymore. I have never seen it. I'm looking forward to watching it. Um, and I haven't seen it in any other collection, so looking forward to watching that. Mortal Instruments, City of Bone, which is, which is a useless title, because Mortal Instruments was a series of books, and they thought this would appeal to YA viewers, and it uh, turns out mm, they weren't really interested, so um, City of Bones was the only one they made, so you can just call this Mortal Instruments. Um, they did, from what I understand, go make a TV series about it, though, when the movie series didn't work out. And all of these films were 95 cents or $1.95, except for one or two in here, which were just 25 cents, the price of a piece of gum. Um, Battle Los Angeles. Um, not really horror, but I do like films where aliens attack things. Hey, sweetie, this is Chupacabra down here. Necessary Evil. Um, another film I haven't seen, it stars Lance Hendrickson. I like Lance Hendrickson a lot. I'll buy anything for $1.95 that has him in it. Um, has Danny Trio in it as well. Dracula Untold. This is a piece of crap. <laughs> this film... This film would have been so much better if it had been just about Charles Dance's character. Tywin Lannister plays an elder vampire, and he's the bright spot of the movie, but he isn't in very much of it. Um, the rest of it, kind of drecky. Hey, sweetie. Um, vampire Wars, another one I've never seen. Um... All of, these are, all of these are films that I picked up because I don't have them in my collection, and I like to think I have a huge collection, but every time I go, there's more that I don't have. Um, pardon the interruption, we have to change camera batteries. We're still pretty new at this, but please bear with us. Um, Godzilla, this is the Matthew Broderick version that for some reason, they didn't have enough faith in, as a Godzilla film, that they turned a subplot into Jurassic Park. Mimesis, Night of the Living Dead. I'm probably mispronouncing that. But, um, but Mimesis, I haven't heard of. And, of course, Night of the Living Dead, public domain name for George Romero. 25 cents. One of the 25 cents specials. Jesse James meets Frankenstein's daughter on a double bill with the Monster Maker, but how could you pass up Jesse James meets Frankenstein's daughter? Um, now, if I only had Billy the Kid versus Dracula, I could make it a double feature myself. White Noise, 25 cents. Um, don't remember really particularly caring for this, but now that I'm trying to collect all of the horror movies, um, 25 cents certainly isn't a, isn't a real problem. Dragon Wars, D Wars. This, I remember having terrible CGI, but, um, 
but perhaps it'll fare better when I watch it when I watch it again. Um, horror collectors four pack: uh, Night Shadow, Raging Sharks, Kraken, Tentacles of the Deep, and Howling Four: The Original Nightmare. Well, I don't know about the others, but the Howling sequels went rapidly downhill. Howling is a wonderful film by Joe Dante. Howling 2 is a hot mess. And uh, Howling 3, well, when you start having weird kangaroos, you know you have a problem. <laughs> YA Vampire Academy. We'll try it. We'll see how it is. American Psycho. This one, of course, I have a copy of. I loaned it out. It never came back. Do you hear me, Rachel? Rise, Blood Hunter, um, starring Lucy Liu. Um, I think it was her big break after Charlie's Angels, where she got to headline her own movie. It didn't work out. But I'll have fun watching it. Hollows Grove, never heard of it. Daywatch. Um, this one is a fantastic film by Timur Bekmambetov, and I apologize for mangling that name. Um, it's followed up by Night Watch, and he had promised a third one in the trilogy, and it's been decades, and there's no third film. But um, the first two films are wonderful, they're complex, um, they are good versus evil. However, <laughs> good is evil, and evil sometimes does good, so it's, it's fascinating. Um, this one, I would, this one, I'm holding back, I would not have expected to find it in the $1.95 or less one. I was really surprised to find it on the bargain bin table. Um, it's Walt Disney's Return from Witch Mountain with Christopher Lee and Betty Davis. Um, it's one of the few Christopher Lee films I don't own, um, and now I do. For buck ninety-five, I'm looking forward to watching that. I watched it as a kid, I believe, when it came out at the theater, um, which pegs me as fairly old. Um, the Dark with Sean Bean. I wonder if, you know, he's the human spoiler, so I wonder if he dies. Vanishing on Seventh Street. Hayden Christensen. Well, enough said. End of Days with Arnold Schwarzenegger. Um, you can't beat Arnie. Not apparently, even if you're the devil. An American Haunting. I'm not big on the haunting genre, uh, but I will give this one a shot. Hercules and Hercules Unchained. Do you want to see a Steve Reeves movie? Those airplane fans might remember that. Um, these are old Italian sword and sandal films. These are two of the first ones, and um, it was $1.95. Also a triple feature of Blood Angels, Vampires Out for Blood, and Succubus Hellbent, all of which like look like softcore Skinamax films. I'll watch those for $1.95. Ghost Rider and Hellboy, because apparently I didn't have Ghost Rider. The Invasion. Now, I love Invasion of the Body Snatchers. 1956 black and white film. Absolutely spectacular story of paranoia. I love Invasion of the ba Body Snatchers. 1978. With Donald Sutherland and Leonard Nimoy and Jeff Goldblum, my wife's favorite. Um, great, another great story of paranoia. I love Body Snatchers which is uh, Abel Ferrara's update on it in the 90s, and it's a quick and dirty version of the Body Snatchers, there, but it's still filled with wonderful paranoia. Um, and then, because the story is so classic, they remade it as Invasion with Nicole Kidman. It's not very good. It's kind of a snoozer. But it's a quarter snoozer. Um, and then, this time, when I went... They had a bunch of Blu-rays for $1.95 each. Um, I got Zombie Diaries 2. Um, I don't remember Zombie Diaries 2, but Zombie Diaries 1, I remember as being a gritty zombie film, 
Plus, we'll just add some gratuitous rape scenes in it. So I'm hoping that maybe Zombie Diaries 2 does not use that same formula. I'm not big on rape in my films. Ah, the light has come back! $1.95, The Last Witch Hunter with Vin Diesel. The Apparition. Terminator Salvation. You know the infamous one where Christian Bale threw a fit on, on camera? Uh, on somebody's cell phone camera? Um, anyway, Director's Cut. I'm not sure if the Director's Cut can improve this, but we'll give it a shot. Killer Weekend. Never heard of it. It's on Blu-ray, though. Hansel and Gretel Witch Hunters. Don't remember really caring for this one. It's just, it's meh. Um, and Drive Angry with Nicolas Cage. And this one, this is another Nicolas Cage one where I can recommend it highly. It is, it is a really wonderful film. This is the kind of film he needs to be in. Like I hear Mandy is right now. Um, but I've not seen Mandy. But anyway, that was my that was my haul from McKay's in the dollar ninety five bin, and um, we'll be back at you later. Mark of Horror and Hubsy signing out. Don't forget to subscribe.